are my treasure. I read whatever I please. I'm here to tell you the treasure that you need. To learn how to read, you must know what words mean. My friend, the princess, has stories for you. They're all about words and what they mean. So here's the princess with a story for you. Listen carefully to her, then go get your hooks into books. Oh, yeah! Now we're going to visit for a moment Desmond the Dragon. He can remember everything and he will review for us what we learned in our last episode. Take it away, Desmond. Desmond Dragon here to review our last episode. We learned that when someone asks the question where, he or she wants to know the place. People are always telling us where to put something, or they tell us where to find something. Where is very important in reading. All stories have a setting. The setting is where the story takes place. Hang on to that word. You never know where you will have to use it. Now just where is that princess? Oh yes, she's in the garden. Let's go see what she has for us today. Our story today is about the word under. Under means something is below. This ball is under the table. I drew a line under the ball. Let's see how many parts there are to the word under. How many syllables are in under? Get your fist ready. Under. Under has two parts. Under. Be sure when you say that word you say both parts and don't just say un. Things are under, not un. Look at these pictures. This ball is not under the table. This ball is not under the table. This ball is under the table. I drew a line under the table. The story today takes place in a little girl's backyard. That is the setting of the story. The character in a story is a little girl. And the problem she has is the little girl loves to get under things. She would rather play under something than any place at all. Let's see what happens. It was a very pretty day out in the garden and the little girl decided to go outside and she would have lunch under the tree. The picnic basket is under the tree. The little girl is under the tree. Her best friend stopped by and said, I would like to play with you. She was not under the tree. It was a very hot day out there and I bet before the afternoon was over this little girl came under the tree too. After they had finished having lunch under the tree they took a little walk and they came up to a rock and they said I wonder what's hiding under the rock. So they lifted the rock up and there were bugs. There were one, two, three bugs. The bugs were bright red and they were called ladybugs. Have you ever played in the yard and lifted up a rock? Most of the time you will find little bugs or insects living under the rock. It's important not to touch those bugs because once in a while one of them might sting you. So it's good to lift up the rock, look under it, and then put the rock back because that is 
the little bugs home. That's where they live. They put some of the bugs in a jar, but then they decided to turn them loose so they could go back under the rock. As they were playing, it started to get dark. They looked up, and sure enough, the sun was going under the cloud. It was getting darker and darker, and pretty soon they felt the rain come. The little girl ran up to the porch and she got her umbrella. She put the umbrella up and stood under the umbrella like this. As long as she was under the umbrella, she didn't get wet. But if she stepped outside, sure enough, she would get wet. She thought this was great fun, playing under the, the umbrella, but her mother didn't think it was such a good idea. So she told her it was time to come inside. Come in out of the rain. Well, the little girl started to cry because she was having fun. It was starting to get muddy and she was all ready to jump in the puddles. But her mother said, no, it's time to come in. And when she heard that mother's voice, she knew it was time to come in. So she went inside and there was lunch. Her mother had made a sandwich. She wondered, what's under that piece of bread? I wonder if it's bologna, cheese, a hamburger, tuna, or peanut butter and jelly. She secretly hoped that it was peanut, or peanut butter and jelly under the bread. After they had eaten, the little girl said, well, now what am I going to do? It's raining outside, and I can't think of anything to do. Well, her mother had an idea. She said, let's play game show. Game show? I've never heard of that before. The mother said, you know, it's like the games they have on TV. I'll show you how to do it, but you'll have to get your animals to come play. Your animals are going to be in our studio audience. Watch carefully how we play game show because this is a game you can do in your classroom and this will be a way that you can practice learning the concept under. Now, if you already know that word under, you might try learning underneath because growing ups often use that word underneath to mean under. Underneath means the same thing as under. It's just a more growing up word way of saying the same thing. Ready? Let's take a little break and we're going to get set up for game show. It's time for game show! Welcome to our studio audience. Let's bring up our first contestant. We have Mr. Raccoon. Mr. Raccoon comes to us from the local woods. Mr. Raccoon, let me show you how we play game show. We have here a magic ball. With this ball, you can make a wish. So think about what would be your special, special dream come true. I am going to hide this ball under one of the cups. I want you to shut your eyes and get ready. Open your eyes. We're ready. I wonder, I wonder which cup is it under. Mr. Raccoon, do you choose cup number one, two, or three. Mr. Raccoon chooses cup number one. Let's see. Is it under? No, it's not. I'm sorry, Mr. Raccoon. Try again. I wonder, I wonder which cup is it under? Mr. Raccoon chooses cup number two. Mr. Raccoon, you found the magic.
magic ball. Okay, Mr. Raccoon, make your wish. Mr. Raccoon wished for his very own garbage can. Mr. Raccoon, I'm sure your wish will come true. Thank you. Our next contestant comes to us from the local retention pond. Mr. Frog, hop on down. Mr. Frog, I understand that your dream is to be able to sing, that you have a kind of croaky voice. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I can see what you mean. Well, if you find the magic ball, you can make a wish and your dream will come true. Shut those eyes. I wonder, I wonder, which cup is it under? All right, we're ready. Open your eyes. Which cup do you choose? Is it under cup number one? Under cup number two or under cup number three? <laughs> Mr. Frog chooses cup number one. Do you think he's right? Who out there in TV land thinks it's under cup number one? Let's see. And he's right. He gets it on the first call. Mr. Frog, congratulations. You win the prize. And we here at Studio Learn are going to see that you get a year's worth of singing lessons. Are you excited about that? <laughs> oh, he is, folks. He is speechless. <laughs> Let's give a nice round of applause to Mr. Frog. Our next contestant comes to us from the local chicken coop. Come on down, Miss Chicken. Hello, Miss Chicken. How are you today? You're looking very good. Would you like to say a few words to the folks back home? Okay, that's enough. You're quite a talker there, Miss Chicken. Are you ready to play the game? I wonder, I wonder, which cup is it under? Shut those beautiful beady eyes, and we're going to hide the magic ball. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, which cup will it be under? All right, open those eyes. Which cup? Do you choose cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three? Miss Chicken selected cup number two. Let's see. I wonder, I wonder, which cup is it under? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Chicken. It was not under cup number two. Miss Chicken, what is your second choice? Cup number three. Is that your final answer? Cup number three it is. Is it under cup number three? I'm so sorry. Your next answer, which cup shall you look under? This is getting easier, isn't it, folks? Cup number one, and you are right. You have found the magic ball. Miss Chicken, make your wish. Miss Chicken, your wish will be granted. Miss Chicken has wished for an Eat More Beef sign. Let's give her a nice round of applause. Miss Chicken from the Chicken Coop. Our last contestant today comes to us from the Pig Pen. Miss Piggy, come on down. Miss Piggy is back for another round at I Wonder, I Wonder, which cup is it under? And she's trying today for the grand prize, which is a round trip ticket for two, all expenses paid to Old McDonald's Farm. Miss Piggy, are you ready to play? You are ready. Okay, let's go. I wonder, I wonder, which cup is it under? Miss Piggy, which cup do you choose? 
Miss Piggy chooses cup number three. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Piggy. It is not under cup number three. You get one more chance to buy for the grand prize. Are you ready for your answer? You want to call a lifeline? All right. Who will we be talking to? Farmer Jones. Okay, we have Farmer Jones on the line here. Here at I Wonder, I Wonder, which cup is it under? And you've been chosen by Miss Piggy as your lifeline. You think it is under cup number two. All right. Miss Piggy, do you want to go with that? Cup number two it is. And she wins, folks. She wins the grand prize, the all-expense-paid trip to... Old McDonald's Old Farm. Did you have fun playing game show? I did. Now you've learned the word under. Now remember, it takes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 repetitions to make this new word yours. Till we meet again, bye bye. is through. Take this new word and let it work for you. Find the word in books. Hear the word in stories. You will be amazed. So go get your hooks into books. Oh yeah!